Hello viewer, in this video I will go over this audio wave player that I have implemented for a product called Cellular.com. The UI that you are seeing here is all in-house implementation and I am using an open source library called waveform.js and in particular I am using a method called get PCM data which returns a list of float point, floating point numbers and I am using that data normalizing it to draw this waveform onto the screen. The open source library waveform.js itself provides APIs to control the audio like seek backwards, play, pause, seek forward, uh, mute, unmute, volume control, and playback speed. The problem in using the waveform API is that it has to download the entire audio file to interact with the APIs until then they won't respond. This is a problem at least when we are implementing this, which is a blocker for us because our calls will generally exceed 30 minutes and file size will be around 50 MB. So user has to wait for some time for the audio to get downloaded, analyzed and the waveform to be drawn on screen. So we went ahead with this different approach to use only the get PCM data method from the waveform.js library and build the player based out of HTML5 audio element and uh, its APIs. Before implementing this in cellular.com product using React.js, I have done a POC using Manila.js. I'll show that. If you are interested, you can check this uh, readme file uh, about this implementation and also if you want to check the react implementation, you can check this wiki file. So I used component compounds, a uh, component components pattern in react.js uh, to implement this. I'll open the POC link now. So POC has some more features than the actual implementation like comments and participant timeline sync. Uh, so this is a POC, this audio is downloaded quickly because it's already cached in the browser so the waveform is drawn quickly. I'll show the transformation from a single line audio player to this waveform player in the actual React implementation. So uh, in this POC, uh, this is same as the React implementation. In this POC there are a couple of uh, new features like these comments. So whenever the player is near any comment. When playhead is near any comment, uh, the comment will auto open. Yeah, and user can go to a uh, specific timeline and uh, this like this is a scrub by gen uh, general audio player and comments will be listed down here the comments see the comments on this audio player and this uh, list is does not work because it, it's a static data and i just uh, put some random data here and if user wants to add a new comment uh, user has to click right click on here it's not clear but uh, uh, this is the previous i haven't made it clear uh, user has to right click on this audio waveform and the context menu will open so user can uh, click on add comment to add this won't work only exit will work uh, these three options won't work so user can click on this the comment viewer will like, like this will open uh, he, this is the place where we are adding comment and this is the timestamp at which we are adding the comment the audio will pause when we are adding a comment and the user can save or cancel it but currently i am not cancelling it so this is the poc that i have implemented now i will go back to the react implementation now coming to React.js implementation, I'll show the audio controls first and then I'll show the audio play transformation from a single line to this waveform. Now we are offering five controls. Uh, one is uh, seek backwards. Uh, this, this button will seek 10 seconds back. And this is a play pause button. And the micro interaction here is achieved by using clip path on a div. This is seek press 10, uh, 10 seconds forwards. This is for toggling uh, mute and mute. And this is for uh, adjusting the volume of the audio. This is to change the playback speed. User can seek to any point of time, any point in the audio player by clicking on the waveform. And uh, a, a, a small a gradient will follow the cursor when the mouse is on the waveform. I'll show the audio player transformation from a single line to waveform by refreshing the page. At start, the page is represented by uh, like this, uh, just like any other audio player on the web, It'll be a normal audio player. So as soon as the metadata is available, user can interact with the player. I'm playing the audio now. So at this time, user can seek to any point of time in the audio as well. If a segment is not available, a buffer screen will be shown on here, uh, like a three dot. And if the if on the, all the loaded segments will be shown like this on the player itself. And in the background, we are downloading the entire audio file.
now the audio file in the background is downloaded uh, it will take some time to process analyze the audio file and get the pcm data out of this audio file i'll just wait for that now as you see the audio is playing and the waveform is generated so it just replaces a single line to this waveform uh, this lines will animate from center to the top and bottom based on the normalized height that they get from the pcm data uh, this is about the audio player uh, if you have any questions you can check that uh, open source repository or the poc that i did uh, thank you that's all